I think most of us have to acknowledge that we've lived within a context that does uh, require certain aspects of sectarianism in order for us to move on, where you might need to feel like, I need to figure out what um, political or religious perspective somebody comes from in order to figure out how to talk about um, what I did over the weekend or did over the summer. So it's not even going so far as to speak about a particular wrongdoing. Sometimes in order to navigate safety, you feel the need to kind of cast the other in the light as to what you think they might, who you think they might belong to, and as a consequence, what you think they might, th- what you think they might think. And that's a way within which people aren't doing deliberately nasty sectarian things, but they're operating within a wider culture that means that we think in order to be safe for me and the other I need to figure out what community they might affiliate with and that's uh, the everyday part of things we notice if somebody says H or H we notice um, what they mean when they say the mainland do you know do they mean France or the island of Britain and we just pay attention and slightly modify our actions around that and some of that is part of a culture of fear sometimes not wanting to hurt people but when when that becomes ingrained deeply we continue to act out around that and it can cause rifts of understanding so these aren't even going nearly as far as as looking at something as awful as a bereavement I'm thinking just simple everyday ways within which we're always trying to figure out what can I say here I don't want to upset somebody that kind of self-censorship can really lead to a culture where we are beginning to imagine things about the other person instead of simply having the courage to say oh did you go to the orange parade hope you had a lovely time or did you go to St. Patrick's Day or finding ways to just name our differences and to let our differences exist instead of being frightened of naming our differences because I think when we're frightened of naming our differences that's when our differences become difficult to talk about and then particularly when it's elevated into something unspeakably atrocious like a bereavement then we don't even know how to talk about that because we don't know how to talk about what you did over the weekend.